I know you don't like me, State of Survival, but I didn't expect this. A couple of weeks ago, Saberlot, the community manager, told people of the PTR server that they are no longer required, and from now on, everything will be tested in a new environment. You had to fill in an application, and obviously, that is exactly what I did. So, weeks passed by, and I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. Until today. The new PTR server is here, and guess who's not invited? You. Exactly me. <laughs> You think you could lock me out, right? Guess what? You can't. Just say that I got the link the moment you opened up that server. But enough about me, I want to talk about what's happening in that PTR server. It is called the Fallout Survivor, and it is a complete mock-up of the original game, but you start from scratch. And to be honest, it is quite interesting. I put myself through the tutorial for the 7 million time, and I noticed something very interesting. Back in the original days, State of Survival used to send you materials to test things. This however is no longer the case. You have to buy bundles. Yes, actually buy bundles. But there is a difference. Prices are way cheaper. 1000 diamonds cost me 12 euros in the live server, whilst 4000 diamonds cost about 4 euros in the PTR server. I mean, I don't think it would be a bad idea to just start playing there. Great value in my opinion. All jokes aside and let this sink in. You are now required to pay to test things for state of survival. I wonder daily if things can get worse within the game and then stuff like this happens. I don't know if this is common practice, but I've never heard people having to pay to test things. It is what it is, having to pay to test buggy features is now our daily thing. And if you are in the new PTR server, please don't spend your money on this. For the rest, everything is pretty much the same than the old PTR server, but I guess that's about it. Have a wonderful day, I'll see you next time for a new video. Bye!